Hey guys, Deathmog91 here, so I'm back for some more GTA 4. Now, we got a message from Francis saying, Nico, I need you to meet me on Castle Drive. So, Francis wants us to go ahead and meet him. I keep wanting I played a lot of Sleeping Dogs. Still working on the game for 100%. So, uh, a bit's happened today. Well, E3 was today, uh, and I end up, well, e the start of E3 was today, I end up watching the PS, well, Sony's press conference, and I am going to buy, I'm going to buy a PS4 on release date. Uh, yeah, so... Sony has me sold. The price point isn't outrageous. I was honestly hoping that they weren't gonna actually have it above 400 bucks because that would have been crazy. Microsoft is crazy, and that's kind of cool seeing one of those helicopters going by. Uh, Microsoft wants 500 dollars uh, for the Xbox One. And I'm not for that. I will pay the 400 bucks to Sony. And besides, you can y play your used games. How nice is that? You you can share them. You can go through say, hey, uh, I need some extra cash. Give me 20 bucks for Call of Duty Ghost. Which, if it's within the first year... It's a hell of a deal. Uh, but yeah, so... There... Uh, honestly, there was... Two games in particular that... Uh, had me sold on the console. That would... And... Be honest, guys. At least one of them you guys should be able to guess for what Let's Plays I'm already doing. Uh, that'd be Final Fantasy XV. A.K.A. Final Fantasy XIII Versus, which has been in development for years and they showed a bit of gameplay it looks sick and yeah I'll tell you what the other game was when we get after the cutscene
Okay, guys, so we basically have to go fucking deal with Francis now. Alright, do Francis' dirty work. So, the other... Okay. Yep. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Yep. So basically now I gotta choose do I wanna kill Frankie or do I wanna kill Francis? Uh so the game that I'm really looking forward to won't be released on the PS4 for at least a good year. But they did have a teaser trailer. Kingdom Hearts three which I am looking forward to I'm gonna go through and buy day one <laughs> okay <laughs> yep uh, so those are the two like games that uh, well they're both from Square but those are like the two games I want. I'm gonna definitely be buying day one. So there were a lot of other good games that really got me excited. And to be honest, if I don't buy them day one, I'm gonna be buying them like in the first couple weeks that they're out. There's the order. Uh, 1886, which looked really badass uh, from the trailer. We got Drive Club, which I will end up buying a physical copy, but I plan on having a PlayStation Plus account because they've got it set up. First month of PlayStation month, uh, Plus, you get the game completely free. And I hope it's one of those things where once you get the game... You get to keep it. So, there's that. Well, let's see. Order, Drive Club, uh, Infamous, which, be honest, when I played through the first one, I fell in love with the game series. Um, the sequel I actually need to still pick up. I'm probably just going to pick up the Collector's uh, Edition. Which honestly should be amazing. Then there's Knack, which I saw back at back during the first press conference, and I think that's gonna be cra a crazy game. Uh, I did not get to watch the full press conference, and I'm gonna probably go back after I do the recording session. What happened was I was working till six. Conference started at six, but yeah, we'll cut back to that in a second. Okay, guys, so, uh, there, like I said, there were a couple of other games that really caught my eye that I honestly, even though I didn't get to see the trailer, I know about them. We got DuckTales Remastered, which I want to play. Uh, we got Destiny, which looked fucking amazing. There's... Batman Arkham Origins, which I cannot wait. Transistor. Uh, there's gonna be a... There's still a lot more. Uh, Destiny of Spirit. I kind of want... I didn't get to see it yet for the trailer. And I'm kind of looking forward to it. Uh, to see it. So, yeah. Those... Out of the games that I can 
recall. Well, then there was a lot of the indie games looked pretty amazing. And yeah. God. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot of good titles. I cannot wait for this to come out. It's a $400 pro price point, which is not cheap, but it still beats the hell out of their original like $500 price point, uh, which kind of sucked. Or no, $600 price point. To be honest, uh, there's still a lot go to go on. I really think four hundred dollars is a fair is a good price for this, and I think if you are really looking to pick up one or the other, uh, well, the PS One or the three sixty or the Xbox One, I would put my money really on the PS Four. I did not see the three sixty press conference, but I did see a lot of the reviews, and well. The review said that the 360 wasn't worth it. They snuck the price point in. There were a lot of exclusives that looked good, but you have you have to oh wait holy oh shit you have to be connected to um, go through and play online, which I uh, not play online to play your games, which I don't like. Um, what was his name? Johnny Millennium. AKA Happy Console Gamer did a great video about the three uh, the Xbox One. Uh, it's this guy. Okay, cutscene. Okay, so I guess we got some shit, and I guess we're going to help out this guy. I'm probably going to get one at level. Okay, so that worked out. Yep. Man, you don't know half of this shit. Uh, so yeah, the PS4, the design is slick. It oh, tch, whatever. I already, I'm already doing this. So the, the design is really slick. I am really happy with it. Um, I really can't say. I'm impressed with the. I was impressed with the press conference, and I'm impressed with how well. Uh, they handled it. I don't think any of us were expecting Ki uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, which I know uh, this is a couple days after all that happened, but that's just how this shit goes because I'm <laughs> recording it right after I see this shit. So yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I think it's going to be a good launch. Uh, we do not know when it's going to be released, though. That's the one thing. Well, there was two things that really uh, concerned me still. Well, one thing, really. Can it play? Is it backwards compatible? I know they didn't technically go into this, but it says that you guys can stream PS3 games, so I think it's going to be backwards compatible. Uh, and then the other thing that's not so significant but it is kind of important, the release date. Okay, we're gonna have another cutscene, of course.
Wow, what a ass. So yeah, uh, the whole press conference for the PS3 will be on uh, YouTube probably tonight, tomorrow, I would say. And yeah, well, it's probably been on the YouTube. It's probably been on YouTube for a couple of days, cause I'm just referring to it when I'm recording. But yeah, uh, so yeah. What the hell does he want? Okay. Sorry guys, had a sneeze. Glad I caught that though. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know, guys. Comment down below what your thoughts of the PS4 and Xbox One is. Uh, oh, there was one tweet I actually thought was really funny. Uh, Jack from Rooster Teeth. Uh, ended up tweeting. It's like. Hey, this looks really from. Uh, this is when they were going over all the audio, not the audio, the all like the TV features and all that. It's like, hey, this looks really familiar, like troll doing the freaking troll song. Uh, but yeah. So, all I'm gonna say is, I'm buying a PS. For the PS One, uh, not PS One, Xbox One, I'll pick up, but it's not gonna be anywhere near launch. I'm gonna wait till it it's been out for a while, probably. Let's see, I picked. Well, I really didn't have the money till I had to pick up consoles day one back in the day. Because of uh, my job limitations. And I think I was supposed to go underground. But fuck it. Um, uh, I would have probably have gone through anyways. And picked up the PS3. Which I actually prefer gaming wise. The PS3. Although I'm doing this on the Xbox One. Uh, not Xbox One. Xbox uh, 360. That's because I have it for the 360. For this game. But yeah, so. Hell. Okay, let's get down there. Come on, where the hell are you gonna land? Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait for the PS4 to come out. It's gonna be a great system. Oh yeah, there was Watch Dogs. That, I knew I was forgetting. There's probably a couple titles off the top of my head I'm really just forgetting. But I will be picking up. And I'll be doing Let's Plays of them. Which actually brings me to a good another kind of good point. Um, they were going through... Okay, it looks like it's actually going to pull over here. Um, they were going through... They have the share feature, which I think is really convenient because if let's say you have an issue on one part of the game uh you shouldn't have an issue later on uh you can watch a friend some video or something is there any safe way to get in there um yeah i can just climb over this which i'm trying to do this uh, pretty stealthy because I've done this before where you're not oh fuck uh, where you're not stealthy and you have to kill a lot of men let's see I think if I do this just right I think I can actually just swim right over there and not get noticed because the helicopter's in like the middle of that and it's going to be a bitch to get to uh but yeah i don't want to set off any guards because i don't want i'm trying to just be stealthy and i don't want it to deal with a lot but yeah 
man it's gonna be an interesting launch for both <sighs> really for both the Xbox one um, and the god damn it I, I can't climb up really Nope, I'm going to have to redo this. Okay, well, guys, I'll redo this, and I guess I'll have to do a big shootout next time. Okay, guys, peace.